Hello, I'm Graham Lathgrove. You're at my home today in Great Yeldon. Um, this is Tintin. He's an eight-year-old by Cavalier. Uh, I'm just going to go through you how I tech him up. I'm fortunate to have a very good sponsor in Prestige Italia, so I'm going to be using their stuff today. And um, we're just going to run through boots, bridle, saddle, um, and how I put them on, and uh, you'll see on my bridle, it's a little bit different. I have something a little bit different to normal, um, and as I put that on, I'll show you and go through it with you then. Okay, we're going to start with putting uh, his boots on. As you can see, they're, they're a gel-filled um, tendon boot, which I prefer. Put that little bit of cushioning on the, the back of the tendon there. And this is my Sarah, my sister Sarah, by the way. She's, she's having to work today. This is my groom's on holiday skiing. Which is fortunate for me. She should have stayed at home because it's snowing here, so that would be no problem. Right, now putting the other side on. They're very good for straps on those because depending on your, they are variable to your horse's leg. If you have a, this horse has got quite a big leg, so they go uh, on the last strap, whereas if you have a horse with a smaller leg, you can do them tighter. Back boots now going on, the same gel filled ones again. Okay, as you can see, he's got all his boots on now. We have the tendon boots on in front um, to, to protect his leg. They do two jobs, actually. They help support the tendon when he's landing, because um, if you've ever seen a photo of a horse land, it, it flexes right to the, the floor, the fact that it does. So that helps support the tendon, stop it going to 100%. And then also on the back of the tendon, you have a carbon Kevlar strip, which protects the back of the tendon from being struck by the back leg, going as Sarah's pointing to there, yeah. And also we have on the back legs then, his back boots, which basically the biggest job they're doing is stopping himself from kicking himself whilst he's jumping, cantering, landing, that sort of thing. Because um, when, when we jump on grass, we'll put studs in and they can catch his legs a bit. So that's the main job they're doing. Okay, she's going on for putting the saddle on now. This is the saddle I use. This is a close contact prestige saddle. Um, it only has one side panel on compared to your normal saddle, which had two. It's very different. Um, but I have long uh, girth straps because of, of the way the saddle's built. The strap goes down further so that my there is no buckle under the inside of my calf when I'm jumping. Uh, and the position, it, it's cut, so it's a, it's a jumping position. And you'll see it's a lot different to your normal type of saddle. This is my bridle, prestige bridle again. Um, very simple Kimball whip for this horse. It's a great now, so don't need anything too complicated. Um, breastplate attachment to the martingale. I want to have that on all my horses anyway. Um, and also, this is a little bit different because um, I've got some blinkers on this on this horse. This, this particular horse he's, doesn't like other horses coming from behind him. It bothers him. So with the blinkers on the side, just helps him stop seeing the horses coming from from behind. It is that is a great aid. Um, for FBI rules, they have to be. Um, no more than three centimetres wide for FEI, but if you're just riding at home normally and you have this problem, you wouldn't need to vet wrap it, it could still be um, wider. So that's why I have those on. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. Here we go, Tin Tin's all tacked up, ready to go. Um, I'd like to thank Prestige for sponsoring me. Um, and if, you, if you're never sure about what to put on your horse, the best thing is to get some advice from your teacher, trainer, um, someone that knows a lot about horses for any, anything different. Um, but as you can see, there he is with all his stuff. And thanks to Prestige.